Yeah, we're pretty much done for day two. Little guy's done a lot of really nice stuff today. We didn't do anything big. We didn't stir up a lot of trail dust. But what he did, he did right, and he did a lot softer. He's getting way softer about everything. He's got meaning and understanding by the second day. And there's actually some feel starting to build. And now, and you can scan the camera over to Buckshot there, Pat. And this is the, this is the horse he really wanted to be. And you come back. Yeah, about all oh, four or five years ago, Buddy Eldrickson and I were sitting around and we, we were, were working a horse or two or whatever. At the end of each ride or session with each horse, we'd sit and talk and visit about the horse and what was cost, and we'd sit around like I am right now. And we'd let the <coughs> horse just kind of hang out with us and everything. And then the horses really got to several things happen. There's too many times when you're training horses for people, you're taking horses in for people and riding them. You get through your ride, you go right to the tack room, take your saddle off, and you put them in a stall. Or a another horse. So pretty quick that horse figures out, well, as soon as we can get to that damn barn, I'll get this deer of this damn chunk of dead cow off of my back. And this idiot will leave me alone. So this hangout time, they get to where they look forward to doing just this at the end of the ride or the session. <clears throat> and this has a way of doing a lot of things that's really helpful to the peace of mind of the horse itself. So if you can take just a few minutes out at the end of your day with your horse, hang out, and you can do some little things here while you're doing that. Like move a foot, ask him to come in. And if you want, you can sit here and you can say, okay, now how about backing up a step or two, release. How about one more step? Release. And you can sit there and you can ask for the foot to go over towards Pat or over here. But even while you're sitting around doing nothing, you can get a lot done. <laughs> that was too much boo. That's all right. That needed to happen too. Now I'm going to work on doing a little thing because of that. Yeah. So that was, we got that out of the way. <laughs> and there's going to be a day when that snaffle bit goes on. And when I put a snaffle bit on, this is where I want their head when that bit goes in the mouth. There might be a five-year-old girl someday that needs to bridle this horse. It'd be nice if she could put the bit on down here. Right. See, so these are little things that there isn't a horse in the world that doesn't understand it. You can take the worst head shy, ear shy horse in the world and in less than a half a day change it. But it's all in how you present, your to, you present yourself to the horse and the way you present yourself. That's all there's, there is to it. But this hangout time is really good for him. Yeah, that's good, man.